here's the rest of that haul video. Another Bailey's of Hollywood cap. And this is a cabby cap or a flat cap. It's plaid. Had a good sell through. This is fantastic. Never found it before, never even heard of it. It's called Natural Life and it's organic. It's new with tag. Even the checkout girl got excited. She goes, that's my favorite uh, brand. She said it's the best made and it's a new with tag robe. It is the softest I have ever felt. It's a medium, it's beautiful. Maybe you get $50 for that. And I paid about $4 each. This is an Abercrombie and Fitch with a big moose. Um, I've never sold this before, but um, from what I could tell, it the big moose is kind of a, a thing. It's called the Soft AF T, and it is very soft. So I might get $20 for that. And this is a brand I've never heard of, and I really couldn't find any comps. But again, I'm just going on the style, the cottage core, the ruffles, the maxi, the floral, just really pretty. The size 3XL, new with tags. What more is there to love? And I paid about $5 for that, and maybe I'll get $30 for that. I'm having a lot of luck with dresses. I'm really, dresses are what I go to first. They're sub more substantial than a shirt or a pair of shorts. They seem to get more money. I seem to get less returns and they seem to sell if you get, and they seem to sell no matter what brand. It's the style and the style is so easy to find. You just walk to the rack like, oh yeah, floral, cottage core, oh, velvet, whatever. You know, I mean, some stuff you got to look up. So this is another, this is Land's End bread and butter and I don't always buy it. Um, but this was cute and this particular dress had a good sell through rate. It's a medium, about $5 for that. And this is a vintage Victoria's Secret. That's a gold label that's vintage. And uh, they seem to, people seem to like them and it's like just a camisole top and you could put lace and floral and satin in there and I paid about two dollars for this and I should get ten maybe ten or fifteen dollars for that. I don't think I'll get a lot of money for it but I think it'll sell good at ten or fifteen dollars. Here's another pair of pajamas. I just thought the brand the the pattern was so beautiful. This is a uh, I think we could call this a twall perhaps or maybe just a floral. I'm not sure it's twall. It's hundred percent cotton and it did not, the tag is cut out, but um, since the, the size is on here, even though there's still no brand, I think they're cute enough that they don't need a brand to sell. Oh, of course, I just noticed kind of some discoloration there. Well, these are gonna go into the wash. All right, this is another dress and it's loft. And it's, I think it's loft retail. I think I, somebody uh, said when they have three little dots underneath, that means it's outlet. So if they don't have the dots, it's better. And this is kind of a, just a black and white knit dress with a belt and a size large. So good size, maybe get 15 or 20 for that. I'm doing something I haven't done for a long time. I'm selling a nursing scrub or a veterinary. I would imagine this is because it's sick little animals. It's Cherokee brand, which I think is Target or Walmart, or it's one of those. And it's just cute. And I have heard that cute scrub tops sell. So I'm giving it a try and I paid about $4 for that. So maybe I'll get about 15 for that. We'll see an experiment. If it's good, I might do more of that because I think those would be very easy to source and easy to, if you can get them at the right price. Here's 100% linen. Uh, no brand. I have to look for that. Um, but there is a size and these are cute. They're a size small. They're just some linen plants. I can put a lot of keywords there. Cottage core, log and look. Okay, here is something this particular dress sold for good money. This is new with tags. Probably gonna get about 
40 or $50 for this, I hope. This is Banana Republic. It's a wrap dress leopard print. And I paid $5 for that. Wrap dresses are popular. Leopard print is popular. Banana Republic is good bread and butter. Here's another negligee or um, camisole. It's another Victoria's Secret. And I think that that is also vintage. Um, so that was uh, probably $3, 2 or $3. And I'll probably get about $15 for that. Another vintage camisole negligee. This one is, I think it's called Intimate Moods and it's probably maybe made in the USA, maybe not, but again, $2, maybe make 15 on that. Oh, this is good. This is a J. Jill size 3X. It's just a t-shirt, but it says here that, that it's the Progress Shirt Tail Tee with Pima Cotton and it's 3X. And these were going for good money maybe 25 or $30. And I paid uh, about $5 for that. Another dress, it's size 3X, it's Torrid. If you don't know about Torrid, that's a good brand. It specializes in plus sizes. And this is a size four, which means 4X. So these, this is another one that goes in the one, two, three sizes, but they're usually plus sizes. So in this particular dress, I think had a good sell through. It's 4XL and I paid about $5 for that. Here is a, just a Eddie Bauer long sleeve, extra, 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 extra large tall. So that's a good size. It's a Henley and I paid about $4 for that. This is a pair of, my stuff is falling a little pair of pajama shorts and a little tank top. And that is also vintage Victoria's Secret. And I paid about $3 for that. And I'll put lace and floral and cottage core, vintage. And they even look a little bit like, uh, there's a little seersucker-ish type fabric, kind of bumpy. Probably get $20 for those. And here is a jacket. It's Ben Sherman, which I sold the Ben Sherman shirt last week. So I picked this up. I didn't really do a sell through on it. I was going to at the register, but I was like, oh, just done. And, um, but you know, we're coming into fall. We're coming into winter. Paid about $7 for this and I should get about 25. So now's the time of school starting, kids coats, backpacks, all that sort of stuff. Shoes, if you're into kids stuff, but all kinds of stuff you can think about for school. Kids backpacks. And going into Q4, so we want to be ready for that.